Welcome to Chatting the Pictures. My name is Kara Finnegan, and I'm a writer, teacher, and historian of photography. And I'm Michael Shaw. I'm a writer, a psychologist, and also the publisher of Reading the Pictures. The global climate catastrophe is clearly the existential threat of our time. Beyond images of violent weather, however, it can be difficult to visually communicate the magnitude and extreme danger of the crisis. This photo was taken by Kadir Van Luizen for Noor Images. It depicts a king tide in Miami Beach in which water from a poorly maintained seawall at Indian Creek overwhelms the drainage system and floods part of the street. Van Luizen has spent the past 10 years documenting the climate crisis. His widely recognized work largely focused on the vulnerability of the world's coastlines. Van Luizen chooses to photograph king tides, as you said. These are especially high tides that occur along with the lunar cycle of full moons and new moons because they give people an idea of what places will look like when sea levels rise permanently as a result of climate catastrophe. So this photo is really weird for a lot of reasons that we can discuss. But one of the things that's weird and interesting to me about it is that it isn't so much a kind of picture of an event of this thing called a king tide in Miami. It's actually attempting to show us what our future holds. It's a projection of what will happen permanently in the future when the sea level rises. So what Van Luizen is telling us is that what today is just a king tide will become the regular sea level. And then this entire scene will be very underwater water 40 years from now. It's a photograph that on one level is quite complex and I think on another level is really satiric in a way. You see like a floating head in a flooded street corner and it just feels really not just bizarre but you know in a way like ushering in all kinds of metaphors, all kinds of commentary on climate crisis and our lack of mindfulness around the issue. And that question of mindfulness, I think, is really relevant because it almost points to the fact that none of us really understand in our heads <laughs> what is about to happen in just a few decades, arguably. It's notoriously hard to picture climate change because it's slow, because it involves science. As a result, we're often left with really stale images of belching smokestacks or, you know, the ubiquitous polar bear floating on an iceberg. And a few years ago, this organization called Climate Visuals launched. And one of the things they did was they argued that we need better climate imagery. And one of those principles is that good climate change imagery should show local but serious impacts. And even though this image with this floating head initially seems weird and not serious, I actually think this is a really good example of the kind of image that would fit into that category, that it is trying to show us what will happen to essentially parts of Miami. Miami Beach when sea levels rise. Now, the question, of course, with all of these kinds of images is how do you contextualize that for viewers so that we really understand that that's what we're seeing? And so projects like Van Luizen's longer term project, right, where you can see this unfold in different parts of the world are really important. But it really strikes me that, you know, the kind of one off news photo just really is challenged to accomplish that same kind of task. Another way that's very relevant right now is how much this photograph informs the current infrastructure debate where, you know, you have the GOP pushing back on President Biden's proposal, talking about infrastructures having to do with roads and bridges, but not about climate, water, energy, and environmental infrastructure. And to the extent that the president is engaged in a massive education process, I think that his message and then the context and the backstory and the message of this kind of work that Kadir has been doing for over 10 years really converges. And I think that that makes the photograph that much more important and powerful. 